Hey, it's your boy Garrett. I'm going to go over actions and batch automation in Photoshop. If you're a graphic designer, it's no exaggeration to say that this video is going to change your life forever. Imagine you have a thousand photos and you have to reformat, resize, and rename every single file. Don't do it one file at a time like an asshole. Okay, that'll take you days. Automate the process and have it done in seconds. The first step to automation is creating actions. So I'm going to talk about actions for a while. To start setting up your actions, just go to Window, Actions. And it's going to be this little play button here. Don't worry about the default ones. We're not going to use those. We're going to make our own. All right. Garrett's Actions. Um, it's going to do something simple. Normally, you want this to be something that you would use pretty often. But I'm just going to do a, something basic. I'm going to call this one. Uh, Fairyland Dreamscape. You'll see why I call it that in a second. So I'm recording everything that I'm doing here. So I duplicate the layer, copies that step. Um, I'm going to screen it and I'm going to put a uh, blur on it. All right. Now I got my uh, Fairyland Dreamscape here. Um, I'm going to hit stop. All these steps get captured into this action. So now, if I want to use this on a different photo, all I have to do is select my little action here and hit play. And it does it automatically. Okay, so that's pretty cool. But, um, I mean, you probably wouldn't use that effect for anything. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a filter that a 14-year-old girl would put on one of her photos to hide her acne or something. Okay, so let's try something else. I'm going to get rid of that. And... Uh, Let's try something else here. I'm going to make an action set called real cool stuff. Okay, now it's recording. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some basic color grading. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to I'm going to boost the mids a little bit and uh, just going to cut the the dark reds and I'm going to boost the light reds. This is a nice look. You get these uh, these pink whites and uh, these these dark blues. So that's kind of cool. I don't know. Maybe I'll add some uh, film grain to it. Okay. So now it's just like a classic uh, um, vintage look. So now I can apply this to all my images. If I decide that I want to change something, I can click on this step and I can edit it. Okay. And then when I realize, oh, this actually looks pretty stupid. Well, I can delete that step out of this action set. And then I can record a new one. Select the, the last um, step, hit record, and it'll pick up from that step. So let's say I want to just sharpen it up a little bit. All right, stop. Okay, so now I got this new thing. Let's just see what it looks like. There's my new action set. Okay, let's try it on this one. Let's just do something else with it. If I want to do my real cool stuff, I can hit run. Now, this column here is going to toggle the windows. So if you want the dialog, to give you the options of this one, like let's say you want to fine tune the uh, amount of sharpening, then leave that on and you see what happens. Hit play. Ah, the window pops up. Now I have this option and I can adjust this. Okay, if you don't want that, uncheck the window dialog. If you want to undo something, it's actually going to undo each step. It's not going to undo the whole action. So you'll see it's one, two, three, undo, undo, undo. So keep that in mind when you're running your actions. You will be undoing each step individually. All right, so let's just do one more. I could do this all day, but uh, I'm just going to do one more example here. Um, this action set is going to be called Super Flat. I get a cool look on this one. 
to flatten it out, I'm just going to uh, uh, I'm going to cut the shadows and highlights, and then I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a, a surface blur. All right, now it looks kind of like a cartoon, and uh, just for good measure, I'm going to boost the vibrance up. Now it's now it looks like an anime. Okay, hit stop. Now we got our new action set called Super Flat. Um, for good measure, why don't I just run my other actions on here? Real cool stuff, hit that. Boom. Fairyland Dreamscape. Boom. All right, that looks pretty fun. Let's try it on this bad boy. Got some pancakes. I could run my uh, Super Flat. See what that looks like. Looks nice. Real cool looks cool and uh, Fairyland Dreamscape looks great all right so this is all really fun but let's be honest being a graphic designer is usually not fun you're usually working on something like this you know some boring thing I don't know what the hell this is but let's pretend that you're working for a company that makes these things whatever these are and you're tasked with um, making a hundred thumbnails for all these product images that are gonna go on your company's website well, normally that would take you all day, but now you know how to automate this. So let's do a, a less interesting action set here. This is going to be called uh, um, resize, <laughs> resize thumbnail web 300 by 300. Guys, this is real graphic design. All right, I you know this is this is how it is. All right, so now we're just going to resize it. Um, so change the uh, the height to 300, and then we're going to crop it horizontally. So that's our thumbnail. Here's the important part: you got to save it. Save it as you can save it as whatever you want; it doesn't really matter. But the important part is this dialog box. So let's say that our web guy says, all right, it's got to be, you know, it's got to be around here. It's got to be at a six of compression. Okay, whatever. That gets recorded into the action. Okay, now hit stop. Now, we could run this on a hundred different files. Or we could batch that. So here's how the batches work. Go to file, automate, batch. What we're going to do is we're going to set this up here. Basically, you're going to choose a source folder. I got a sample folder here with 100 images in it. I'm going to pull those images, and I'm going to run this action right here. I'm going to run that action on all these 100 photos. And then I'm going to save them. I'm going to save them into a different folder. Those are going to be my, my new thumbnails, right? Um, set up how you want this saved. OK, so I don't know. I mean, just assume that your web guy wants you to set this up in some very specific format. Um, and you got some other options over here that are pretty self-explanatory. Let's just assume that this is what you want, and we're good to go. Let's, uh, let's hit OK and see what happens. OK, now it's going through all my images. And really quickly, it's just resizing and resaving all of them. Just, uh, just give it a second. Also, oh, by the way, pretend that these are products. I mean, I know these are just generic stock photos, but let's pretend that they're all these stupid little drill bits or whatever these products are. All right. Almost done here. Okay. Here's my little thumbnail. And uh, I mean, these are just random images, but like I said, pretend that they're products and that that this just made your boss happy because it saved you a lot of time. And hey, maybe uh, maybe they expected it to take a day and now you got the rest of the day off. That's pretty sweet. Anyways, this video is going long, so I'm going to wrap it up here. The important thing about learning these tricks is, you know, it's the old saying, work smarter, not harder. Actually, you should work smarter and also work harder 
because then you're gonna be uh, pretty much the best graphic designer in the world, like me. So, uh, I mean, maybe you could be second best. Anyways, thanks for watching.